let's talk about Tia Mila. I didn't film anything during the weekend, mostly because I wanted to focus 100% on my race, but uh, to be honest I was too nervous anyway to pick up the camera. But I still wanted to share my experience from this year's Tia Mila, because it was a really cool experience. So I had been selected to run the fifth leg for Fredrikstad's first team, a tough 11km night leg. And uh, I was a bit nervous since uh, I feel more comfortable running shorter, but I knew that I had trained good and uh, I still felt uh, ready for that leg. And we travelled down to Skåne some days uh, prior to the race to check out the terrain and to start focusing on the race. And on first day we did a night training that was very important for me to get a feel for the terrain during the night. Uh, and uh, I, after that training I had huge respect for the terrain, at, especially in those green uh, dense areas. Uh, it's really demanding orienteering. So that uh, helped me to, to pick out a good tactic for the race. Since I've been doing a video series for Countdown Team Mila, I was invited to join the Studio Team Mila on uh, Friday and uh, I thought I would just share a few clips from uh, that with you here. Hur är känslan när du är ute och träffar dem? Hur viktigt är 10 mila? För att det här var ändå 10 mila touchform här, men pratas det mycket 10 mila där ute? Jo, verkligen. Man märker när man kommer ut och pratar med klubbarna att 10 mila betyder otroligt mycket. Eh, du sitter ju i din klubbjack, kan du för tiden, Fredrikstad? Jajamän. Som var bästa norska laget fjol på en fin, fin sjätte plats. Precis. Hur viktigt är 10 mila för Fredrikstad? Ja, det är otroligt viktigt. Ja. <laughs> det, ja, vi, har, vi har tränat väldigt hårt eh, inför 10 mila hela vintern här. Vi... Nästan alla i laget tränar ju minst ett nattpass i veckan under hela vintern för att förbereda oss till teamila, så det, det är viktigt. Mm. So that was also a nervous experience to be on live TV like that, but uh, it was a cool experience and uh, I think I didn't made a complete fool of myself at least. If you want to check out the, the videos I've been doing for Countdown Teamila, you can uh, find them on the Teamila YouTube channel. So this brings us to Saturday and race day. On the morning we did a morning jog with the whole team and uh, I felt that the energy in the team was super good. Everybody felt uh, ready to do their job uh, during the night. Me myself, I felt good in the legs but uh, I was also already then super nervous. And before my race I tried to get some hours of sleep but that was impossible since I just started thinking about the relay and felt that my heart started uh, racing again and yeah I was I was a bit nervous but I also felt super ready and I had my tactic ready. So my tactics for the race was to do low risk orienteering, make it as simple as possible, use the tracks whenever that was an alternative and uh, just try to make as safe routes as possible and of course uh, really used my compass uh, the whole way. And I also really wanted to just focus on my performance and my race and not uh, focus on everybody around me and just focus on doing a good uh, orienteering performance. So Fredrikstad had a really good start of the relay with Matthias on the first leg and then it went a bit up and down on the coming legs but I still went out in a good position on 17th place, uh, a bit behind the, the leading group but it was a nice position for me to be in because I could really just focus on uh, doing my own job. While I'm talking about my race I thought I would share the GPS tracking from my race. After heading out from the starting point I was quite quickly alone out there in the forest uh, due to forkings. But I just tried to do my job, do safe orienteering, try to keep the pace up and uh, after one third of the race I could finally start to see a lot of headlamps and that was a really nice sign that uh, I had caught up with some teams and that uh, I had a decent start of the race. And after that I just continued doing my job, orienteering safe and uh, quite quickly I was alone again. I lost a bit of time on a round uh, route choice but uh, I still continued to orienteer well and I didn't do any control mistakes uh, during the whole race. And coming down into the last tricky areas, I got my two controls on that hill very good and I was super happy to be able to see a lot of headlamps heading into the second last controls. And when I started looking after the jerseys, I saw that there were a lot of top teams in that group. 
So I had caught up to the second uh, group. Of course, Juan Högstrand and Parma did a super good race in front and I lost some time to them, but uh, compared to the other runners, I had caught up time and uh, yeah, I was super happy to come into the finish uh, knowing that I have done a good race. So yeah, I was super happy with my race coming into the finish. I had really done what I set out to do. Uh, afterwards, I could see that I lose some time on my long uh, going around uh, the tracks route choices, but uh, still, I did what I set out to do, and I managed to catch uh, a lot of teams. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm super happy with uh, how it turned out and my performance, and I'm also. Proud that I could perform, although I was very nervous uh, before the start. After my race, I stayed up with other guys in the team and we shared as much as we could on the upcoming uh, runners. And uh, the relay continued going a bit uh, up and down for us, but uh, after some really good races uh, from especially Goethe and uh, Martin on the last leg, we were able to finish in a seventh place after Martin did a really good last leg. So that was really cool, we had a goal of finishing top uh, 5, so we didn't quite uh, reach that. But I still think we did a good relay with only 3 minutes up to top 3. So that is super motivating to work towards the upcoming relays, and especially Jukola. I'm uh, so psyched to start training hard and to get ready for Jukola. And first I will try to take a uh, place in the team and uh, really get ready to do a super good job then. That was my little Tia Mila story from this year and I hope you liked watching this video, a bit different, just me sitting down and talking but uh, hope you still enjoyed this video and hope you had a nice Tia Mila weekend yourself. And as always, thanks for watching, train hard, have fun and I will see you in the next video. Oh.